Do pads affect the sound of your headphones? Absolutely. In fact, they matter a ton. Let's talk about it. Look at how much snow is out there. That is crazy. I've been shoveling out of that for a few days, which is plenty of time to pad roll through a million things in my collection. If you haven't already, you should watch my previous video on this channel talking about audio terminology, bright, warm, dark, etc. because we're going to go through and use some of those terms in today's video. You can find that at the link in the video description. Anyways, I'm DMS, you're watching the Headphone Show by Headphones.com, let's talk pads. The simplest way to explain it is the pad is the room. You think about it like this. Well, there's a speaker driver inside here, your little headphone driver. Between that and your ear, there's the pad. And do you want to have a big concrete hard surfaced room? Do you want to have a soft treated room? Well, it depends on the sound you're after and that's going to totally affect the tonal characteristics of whatever you're listening to. For example, on this HD650, if I throw solid leather pads on it, well, it's going to turn into a very sealed up tight space. My mid bass is going to become very warm, very elevated. And some parts of the treble might become peaky as well. A velour pad, well, that's the opposite end of the spectrum. It doesn't seal very much compared to, say, a solid leather pad. It's going to let a lot of those low frequencies out usually, and you'll end up with a headphone that is more mid-forward or potentially bright. Depends on how it's all set up. But another thing to consider is the density of the foam. A lot of these pads have different foams in them, and well, that changes the sound characteristics a lot. For example, this is the same headphone with multiple pads. And this is not a unique case. You can do this with almost any headphone, and that's where things start to get a little bit dicey. Do you want to replace your pads with an aftermarket one, or do you want to use the stock pads? Because a lot of times, an aftermarket pad will make things worse, but sometimes, it could make it better, and it all depends on your personal preferences. An example being a lot of the Tacconi pads tend to add a bit of mid-bass, and some people like the additional warmth. There's some pads from Tacconi, like the ones for Diana, that actually make the sound more neutral and measure better. Then there's these pads from ZMF for the HD650, 6XX, 600, and so on, that also make the headphone measure a little bit better and sound even more neutral. We did a video on these, by the way. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out also at the link in the video description. It's pretty cool. The thing to note about pads is that they don't just make a subjective difference, they make an objective difference. Headphones will measure very, very differently depending on the pads you put on them. In most cases, if you like the sound of your headphone, you're best just replacing the pads with more stock pads from the manufacturer. But if you want to mix things up, that's when you might start considering alternative pad options or if comfort is a considerable problem. For example, I wanted to make my Grado SR325X measure and sound a little bit better, so I replaced the pads with a modified pad and did some other little tweaks to them, and well, as you can see, they measure a lot closer to the target I was going for. The other thing to keep in mind is that pads do not last forever. Every pad, no matter how expensive it is or how cheap it is, will eventually have to be replaced. It is like tires on a car, it's like an oil change, it's just a part of maintenance for a headphone. And other things like this soft, cushy headband on top, well, that's eventually gonna have to be replaced too. And that's just a part of it. When you're budgeting to buy a headphone, when you're thinking about buying a headphone, look at the price of pads as well, and remember, you're probably gonna have to replace these every few years. Now, some might last longer, but for example, the HD650 and 6XX pads, the more they age, the more the treble and bass start to roll off and you end up with more of a mid-range focused headphone. So they change over time as they start to wear out more and more, and this goes for a lot of headphones. I mean, it's pretty shocking if you have a three to four year old pair of pads on an HD6XX and you put a brand new pair on, it's like, whoa, there's bass and treble now. So keep that in mind. The moral of the story is that pads matter a lot. They're very important whether you're a pure objectivist and you care about measurements of everything, or if you're on the subjective train and all you care about is how it sounds, or anyone in between. You should care a lot about the pads for your headphones. They're the room these little speakers reside in and they will totally shape the sound, comfort, tonality, soundstage, and all other facets of the listening experience. And yes, I did say soundstage. Pads can change almost anything about a headphone. ZMF has really capitalized on this because their headphones, well, they come with a ton of different pad options. You could buy an Atrium or an Aeolus and pick a dozen different pads to get a dozen different sounds tuned to your liking. The same goes for their clothes bags. 
And really, you could do this with any headphone. The big thing to keep in mind is that a lot of this is highly subjective and your mileage will vary. You might find a pad that is perfect for you, but someone else might hate it. And that is okay. In fact, I kind of expect that'll happen a lot. So the final question, should you change your headphone pads? Well, honestly, I know it's a disappointing answer, but it is up to you. Take in mind and consider everything that I've told you today. If that adds up to something you wanna do, well, go for it. There's a lot of great pad manufacturers on the market. And sometimes even the OEMs that make the headphones have different options for them as well. We're all just listening to wiggly air in front of our ears. Have fun with it. Do what you want to do. Enjoy audio the way you want to enjoy it. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. Don't forget those other videos I linked in the video description. Check those out. But that is going to wrap it up, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can have the forum or Discord, both linked in the video description. And as always, don't forget to stick around. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next one, guys. Peace.